Okay, so I received a request to uh, show what would happen if I did the sudo rm-rf command in a fully functioning version of OS X, meaning while it's running and not from the command line. I expect this is going to brick my system, so we'll see in a second. Just before I begin, uh, let me just show you that I'm not completely suicidal, and I'm going to notice that I have two partitions here, Tiger and Storage. And because I don't want to spend all the time, uh, you know, pulling data back from disk, what I normally do is I partition my hard drive into two equal parts. So if I go back to Disk Utility, and let's see, and as you can see, I have a 120 gig hard drive, but what I've done is because I have all that space available, I've split it up into two equal partitions of 60 gigabytes apiece. So, whenever I want to wipe out my operating system, it's easy. I don't even have to hook up an external hard drive. All I have to do is just uh, drag stuff over from my storage partition back over to Tiger, and that's it. So that's just a quick tip if you ever want to, you know, do this on your own. Alright, so let's get into it. Bring up the uh, terminal. Alright, and we'll type the command from within OS 10. sudo space rm space dash fr space forward slash password. Okay, so this is what happens when you do this when your operating system is running, and I expect it to be bricked, but let's just see. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've, op I've installed some open source software from the command line, and I just wanted to see, you know, but uninstalling open source, sometimes it's hard to get a clean uninstall. So that and I tried some uh, trialware stuff and it's kind of gunked up my system so I just kind of want a fresh start. It's been about say a couple months since I did a format it anyway so I mean just to clean stuff out. Alright so coming up over here it's 6.37 p.m. I'll let this run its course and uh, we'll be back when it's done. And as you can see, I have no applications folder anymore. It wiped it out. Because it's doing that. So I'd like to see what happens when it hits my home directory. So I think you can more or less tell that this is going to brick the system, because I don't even have an applications folder anymore, <laughs> which is very interesting. So even right now, this is a useless system to me, which means I have to do reinstall. And let's see what's happening with my dock. That's very interesting. And there goes my home directory. It erased it. I still have some residual folders there, but it did wipe out a lot. So I'll come back down to my dock, let's see what happens. Alright, so my home directory is wiped out. There goes the whole sidebar. It is now gone. Very interesting. And I think some font files are missing because 
I can't even render the word safari right. So it looks like it's done. That took about five minutes to wipe everything out. And uh, let's just see. Open up Tiger. Nothing's in Tiger at all. It's all gone. So this is going to be a very interesting reboot. I've never done this before. Everything's wiped out. Let me just try hit an application. and nothing happens. It's all gone. My desktop shortcuts are gone. Everything's gone. So that's what happens if you wipe out Mac OS X from the command prompt. I'm going to quit that. Come up here. Wow, this is some very strange behavior. Even the ellipses are gone. Force quit is gone. Software update does nothing. So we can do about this Mac still. I can't even do an about this Mac. Nothing. Force UIT. Alright. So since nothing works now, because I wiped it out. I guess it's time for me to uh, restart this thing. See if we can even do that. So I'm gonna do. I might be forced to do a hard, hard. So I'm gonna do a hard turn off. And here comes the bong. And that's what happens when you wipe out OS 10 from within OS 10. Strange things happen, and then you gotta reinstall your operating system. Well, hope you liked it. And now I gotta rebuild my file system. Alright. Peace.